You can do this. You can do this. So, you know, I need another minute. Okay. Just, God. Let me tell you a story about Bruce Banner. A scientist. A scientist, you hear? A scientist. And then... <laughs> and then... He... He was hired... By... The US government... To work on a project. And he turned... Into the Hulk. <laughs> you think... The... Movie adaption... That would be the second installment in the MCU would be, you know, describing that first part. And then the second part would be a bit shortened from what it actually was. That's not what we got. No, 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 that's not what we got. What we got was an absolute... <laughs> what we got was an absolutely... Atrocious abomination of complete assness that laughs in the face of superhero movies everywhere. This feels like a comic book movie that was made in the early 2000s. Hell, there was a Hulk movie made during this really awkward time where all superhero movies were trying to be super serious and artistic when that came off as dumb. But it was just like, I haven't actually seen this movie because, you know, I have standards. Actually, no, I don't. I saw... I've seen food fight, but I'm sure it'd be more entertaining. It's by a good director, but, oh no, who, what else did this guy make? Oh, well, that's just great. This guy directed Fast X, and we all know how successful Fast X was at the box office. Mm, yeah, mm, yeah, mm, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, I watched this movie. I tried to do a marathon of all the MCU movies, and this was the worst one. Aside from Thor, which I watched after I was actually good. This is the film that did it. This is the film that stopped me from watching the MCU. I'm blaming it on you. I'm blaming it on you, Louis Leterrier. I'm blaming it on you, Zach Penn. Your pen is probably broken, Zach. I blame it on Avia Rod, Gail Ann Hurd, Kevin Feige... Ed and Edward Norton. Good God, Edward Norton is just the wrong, complete wrong pick. Oh my God. So, why is this film so bad? You may ask. Well, I've already described the plot. Well, the whole bit I described at the beginning, it's all in the opening credits. That's right. This entire paragraph on Wikipedia, it's in the opening credits. There's not even time devoted to it. Do you know better this movie would have been just a little bit? They actually showed the darkest point in Bruce Banner's life of him turning into the Hulk, losing everything in the process. But no, we don't show. We just show him in where is he again? Colum Rio de Janeiro. He's in Rio. Great. Can I go come across a bad third Rio movie? If it is bad, if they actually try, Bush. That's just the beginning of this movie's long range of problems. Because trust me, there's a lot. There's a lot of damn problems. There are so many problems. There are more problems in this movie than there are fingers on my right hand. That's a lot of fingers. So, let's continue on. First off, the performances are complete ass. This is the same problem as something like Dune, where the characters are just boring sticks throughout the entire thing it takes itself seriously it doesn't feel like iron man 1 and iron man 2 came out directly before and after it those two were real movies they had actual comedy they had a good plot 
and they somewhat took themselves seriously while also having a sense of humor about themselves. They made fun of themselves. They were clever. This movie is not clever. It is dumb. It is a complete buttocks of modern superhero comic book movies just ever. Like, oh my god, the acting is so dull and lifeless. The girlfriend in this movie is played by the dumb Breck who was in Armageddon. And I don't like Armageddon. It's a very bad movie. Actually, no, it isn't. But, like, it's... I don't like Armageddon. Or I don't like most Michael Bay movies. 13 Hours was Grace. I like Transformers 1 and 2. But after a while, you get kind of sick. And that's exactly what this performance is. All the performances in this movie are just boring, stale, and lifeless. The only one in this entire film who looks like he's actually enjoying himself is Tim Blake Nelson. But, he, but he's very good in, like, anything. I've... He's great in holes. That's because he's perfectly fit for, like, a short, stubby loser. And this, he's trying to be this great big scientist, and he's the only one that has a sense of humor in this entire movie because everyone takes everything too seriously because we can't have a sense of humor about anything. We need to be super serious. We need to be super artistic. We need to get the Academy to look at us and say, oh, yes, they deserve an Academy Award. And then they give them an Academy Award, but what do they get? They get nothing. Why? Because they didn't try. With They didn't do anything. They didn't do anything to deserve anything. And I'm glad I didn't deserve any Academy Awards whatsoever. And I'm also glad that Bruce Banner's actor, Edward Norton, was replaced far after this movie came out. And there's all, never been a singular Hulk movie ever again. But, <laughs> it doesn't matter. We can do good Hulk movies. Let's do, let's do a Hulk television series. About, but and th Actually, let's do it about a female Hulk. Yeah, that will make sense. That will give us a wish. This is what we got. She-Hulk. She-Hulk. The greatest show of all time. Positive reviews. Are you kidding me? Positive. I'm, I'm surprised this, ser this entire series isn't just completely destroyed by people because of the twerking scene alone. All right. The effects are one thing, but it's just. Ah! Why is the Hulk just bad in everything? The only thing though, the only good thing the Hulk has been in is is the original thing with Lou for Lou but Lou for for Rig for Rigno. I'm probably pronouncing that horribly wrong, but you know what? Screw it. I don't care. This movie sucks. So aside from the uh, the acting being tre treasurely lifeless and the, so many plot holes that you can't even count, like there's this whole bish or like uh uh freaking. Edward Norton is working in a factory, and he sees, like, a mistake in one of the bottles or something. And then it only comes back in one joke. A Stan Lee cameo joke. <clears throat> and he drops this. I'm like, what was wrong with the drink? There was a bit of blood in it. That, I guess that was wrong. But, like, it doesn't build up to anything. It never comes back into the story. It just appears as one stupid joke, and then just gone for the rest of the film. Because that's what movies are. We just put stuff in, and then it suddenly comes back out of nowhere... For one singular, solitary joke. Because this movie is one big middle finger to film it. Calm. I'm calm. I'm calm. I'm calm. I'm collected. I'm not going to lose my crap at a movie that everyone forgot even existed. Okay. 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 There. Whew. Broke my hand doing that as well. Anyways, aside from the uh, crazy out of nowhere plosh, that's stupid, and also the boring as hell performances, as well as the characters that have no personality, but like, why talk about that now? Let's also get to another problem with the film, the pacing. Good god, this movie is boring. Not only is it horribly infuriating as well, it's a boring kind of bad. The bad I prefer are bad movies that are so... Entertainingly awful. I just I love watching them. Hell, I'm I'm rewatching the Concord Airport seventy nine for a video. Oops, did I spoil that. Well, I don't care. This movie spoiled everything else. Bush, that's nothing. That is baby crap. This that movie Air, Airport seventy nine. That's just like regular horrible. This is abysmal. It was a lot harder to sit through, and this is longer. Bush. Actually, that doesn't really help with the case, but yeah, screw it. This movie's pacing is awful. It's so slow, and it's so full of itself, and it just expands on every single scene. It spends too much time at the beginning, where it shows, like, Bruce's life in Colombia and... Col fuck. Crap. 
Did I say the F word? Well, who? <laughs> Ignore I said that. Um, what was I saying? Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Either one of them works. But this, <laughs> the pacing. Yeah, I'll thought that. This movie's pacing is so awful. It, every, it stretches out every single scene in such excruciating detail. It wants to show everything in. Such little time as well. How long is this movie? 112 minutes? It feels like 152 minutes. Hell, Transformers 4 feels shorter than this. And that movie's 2 hours 45 minutes. And it's Michael Bay. Bush. I will admit. The action's alright. Yeah, it's well paced. It looks good. Even the CGI is okay for what it is. And also, like I said, Tim... 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 Blah, blah. Tim Blake Nelson is the only entertaining part of this film. By entertaining, I mean he's the only character that has any life to it. Any life to him. But aside from those three things, what else does the movie have to offer? Nothing. It's nothing. This movie is nothing. It's about as enjoyable as... Uh... Getting shot, I don't know, I'm running out of steam. This movie's made me make, this movie is draining my comedic mind. I'm sure you're not finding me funny, but I don't care. This movie is not funny either. And I'm draining all my energy. Just trying so much to try and piece this movie off. To uh, pick this movie piece by piece to see how truly awful, how truly abysmal, how truly unobtainably disgusting it is. It is a laugh in the face of the MCU. It was making, it was, the MCU w was bad from movie two. Thankfully, they got back on their feet with Iron Man 2, which also, which made a lot of money, just like the first, and then the MCU continued doing well, and then the pandemic happened, and now they've been sucking ever since. But, like, even in two 2008, the year Phase 1 started, the second movie, the second movie, didn't make its, well, it didn't make, barely made any money, why? Because this movie was stupid, and everyone knew it was stupid, so no one saw it, and that is why it is one of the worst films I have ever seen in my entire life, 1.5 out of 10, this is the one, and I don't know. This is the five. And this is the point. This movie deserves to go to hell. It deserves to stay away from anything good. It's an absolutely atrocious film. I can't think of an outro. So, the movie sucks. Don't watch us. Bye.